is this a cause i must become president of nigeria dead or alive peter Obi makes final declaration okay my people peter Obi don't come up with a own declaration he said that this cannot be a cause that the Igbos must produce a president in Nigeria. He said that before he departs this surface of this earth, that Igbos must produce a president and he must become that very president that the Igbos will produce. Don't be small matter, a very serious issue be this very one. And I tell you, even yourself, you will be shocked to know that this actually um actually happened <laughs> this morning, let's quickly go straight to this very content this is today's news the leadership crisis within the labor party has taken a new turn as julius apure led national working committee and wc strongly criticized the party 2023 president Ninja candidate Peter Obi and Abia State Governor Alex Oti. The disagreement stems from the formation of a caretaker committee to take over the party leadership. In a statement released on Wednesday by the National Publicity Secretary Opiora Ifo, the Abure camp expressed frustration with the ongoing dispute, accusing Obi, Oti, and others, party leaders, of working against the party interest by aligning with independent national electoral commission INEC. this development comes after INEC refused to recognize julius abure as the national chairman of the labor party stating that his tenure had expired in june 2024 reacting to this very issue peter will be made it clear that whether Abure or not that Labour Party will produce a president and it will be an Igbo faction. He said if this is a cause that the Igbos will not produce a president in the East of Nigeria, he will break that chain. He has called on all Igbo leaders and all that is concerned irrespective of the party to team up team up and support 2027 presidency as it planned taking over the government by force. Thank you for listening to today's news. Um, you see, some persons will be taking this to be a child's play, but it's not a child's play, but it is a reality. What Peter will be saying is a reality, seriously. But uh, some persons will be saying, Beggy, waiting in the talk. So. <laughs> uh, all right, no cause for alarm, my dear listeners. Um, I would like to, to quickly, quickly, quickly hear from you on this very matter because um, it's becoming very strong and stronger by the day. Um, so person will be wondering what is Peter will be saying, but what he's saying is for the good of everyone, most especially for the good of the Igbo people in general. Yes, for the good of the Igbo people in general. Those who doesn't want anything good to happen in the southeast. You get it. But um, from my observation, the Igbos are mostly focusing on the exit for Biafran freedom. You understand? So I don't know what how it's going to be like, but uh, whatever it is, let us still give what Peter Obi uh, yeah, just said right now a trial and a chance because I believe in Peter Obi's political pursuits and career. You understand? And adjust it. So, dear listeners, um, listening to this very broadcast, it's been awesome and also very wonderful having you in this very channel. Thank you for giving us um, the listening ear. It's been wonderful. Thank you so much. And um, please don't forget, don't forget your comment. Don't forget to click on the red subscribe buttons. Ask you.